The doctor may recommend dialysis, a procedure that removes waste products from the blood if the kidneys are not functioning properly. Health kidneys filter out waste, excess fluids, and electrolytes like potassium and sodium from the blood. These waste products exist the body through the urethra in the form of urine. If one has a kidney disease, the kidneys gradually lose function, leading to an accumulation of harmful waste and excess fluids in the body, increased blood pressure, and bone or blood problems. Dialysis can also be done to treat acute renal failure, which occurs when the kidneys stop working suddenly, or to remove drugs or poisons from the body. There are two types of dialysis, hemodialysis and peritoneal dialysis. In hemodialysis, the doctor will use a machine called a dialyzer to clean the blood outside the body. Some weeks or months before one begins hemodialysis, the doctor will prepare a vascular access site on the patient's body. The doctor will create either an arteriovenous graft or arteriovenous fistula to access the bloodstream. To begin, the doctor will numb the area with local anesthesia. To construct an arteriovenous graft, the surgeon will make a small incision in the forearm and insert a soft plastic tube called a graft to connect an artery to a vein. To create an arteriovenous fistula, the surgeon will make a small incision in the skin and connect an artery with a vein to make a larger vessel called a fistula. Once the vascular access site has healed, the doctor can start hemodialysis. To begin, the dialysis nurse will set two needles in the AV fistula or graft. Once the needles is set up, the blood will flow slowly out of the body and through the dialyzer. Inside the dialyzer, the blood will encounter filtering fibers and an absorbent cleaning solution called dialysate. The fibers will remove waste and excess fluids and electrolytes from the blood. The clean blood will emerge from the dialyzer and continue through the tubing back into the body through the second needle at the access site. When the hemodialysis session is complete, the needles and tubing are removed and the client can go home. In another type of dialysis, the doctor will use the membranes lining the abdomen called the peritoneum to clean the blood without removing it from the body, hence called peritoneal dialysis. During this procedure, the surgeon will set the catheter near the umbilical point, creating a port through which the dialysis will enter and leave the abdomen. Each peritoneal dialysis session is called an exchange. First, the doctor will use a catheter to fill the abdomen with dialysate for a period of time. Through the peritoneal membrane, waste products and extra fluids are continuously drawn out of the blood and into the dialysate. Along with the waste materials it absorbs, the dialysate will drain out of the abdomen into a disposable collection bag during the exchange.